Las Vegas is the city of excess. But after the party, someone's got to clean up. And in Vegas, that means throwing out mountains of uneaten food. Every year, 133 billion pounds of food in the United States are wasted. And while the EPA under Donald Trump isn't famous for caring about a lot of things, it does seem to care about dealing with food waste. It recently gave a prize for sustainable food disposal to none other than a bunch of Vegas Strip casinos. Chefs at the Mandalay Bay are cooking for a crowd of 11,000 people. If you were looking for food scraps, this is where you find them. Each day we're doing between three and 5,000 pounds of vegetables that we're serving. So we're probably going through 70,000 chicken breasts. So that's a lot of chicken breasts, you know? That's 35,000 chickens. After a banquet is over, right? About how much of that food isn't eaten that you need to figure out what to do with? I'd say maybe around 10%-ish. That mountain of leftovers is headed to the pig farm. It was started by veteran pig farmer and occasional gambler Bob Combs half a century ago. And it makes Vegas food disposal unique. There's just a tiny number of operations like this in the country. So we're on top of the box now. We're on top of the box, Hank. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of pasta over here. Yeah, Italians were in town, I think. Yeah, I see a sausage, which makes me feel like... Yeah, yeah could breakfast be pork, sausage there, yeah. Right? It's very meta. And this is pretty clean. The type of food that we're collecting it's, it's basically post-consumer, right? So it's mm -hmm. coming off the plates. And so you're going to get the napkins, you're going to get the silverware, you're going to get towels, all kinds of trash. And a lot of people don't want to deal with it. <laughs> oh, hello, girly. Come on, Mama. Yeah, no. come on. No. She's... She's something else. <laughs> Are they getting louder because they know it's coming? Yeah, they hear it and they get all rallied. examples of food stuff. So I know there's like the classic, there's lobsters, mm -hmm. there's yeah. lobsters. sausages that they like. Yeah, steak, corn dogs, we see some of that. <laughs> we found a dollar in there once, but. No way. <laughs> yeah. What's We're... the most outrageous thing you guys have found in the mix? Uh, a dildo. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Vegas generates so much waste that this farm is looking to expand fast. But scrap feeding isn't the most efficient solution. So MGM Resorts says it's pioneering new and more sustainable ideas, some as eccentric and over the top as the city itself. We buy a lot of oysters. You know, MGM alone buys about two million oysters a year. And they're sourced from a partner that we are working with to send shells back to replenish the uh, oyster ecosystem. Now, actually, let's put these here because now you can recycle these. It's subject to debate just how sustainable it is to truck oysters across the country. But MGM also has an expensive, sophisticated system to blast freeze untouched food for Hunger Relief Agency 3 Square in Nevada. For years, we've been sending not only food scraps to Pig Farm, but also really high quality food. So what we did with 3 Square was develop a process to make sure we only collecting safe food at the right temperatures. So that food, now is going to a freezer at Three Square and it's stored for up to three months. Shelters can order, like... Online, what they want. Online, right. They can like, order. we'll take this leftover pate, please. Something yes. like that. What percentages are we talking about when we say something like that? Like, how much from a huge banquet will go to a farm and how much will go to a charity? The majority will go to farms still. And that's because of these very strict safety parameters. The most efficient way to deal with food waste is not to create it in the first place, so-called source reduction. 
But that would mean reimagining the city. No more 25,000 square foot all-you-can-eat buffets, no more banquets for 15,000, and no more Vegas, or at least how we know it to be. When does source reduction begin to feel like austerity? It starts feeling like austerity when the buffets seem pretty empty and sad. Hi there. Can you carve some meat for me, please? The entire model is predicated on the idea of having excess. But is there a world in which, like, you can safely say, we want to be totally sustainable? I don't think any company or any city or any country is ever going to be 100% sustainable in the, in the definition I think you expressed, right. which is zero food waste. I feel bad about myself right now, guys. But, you know, here I am.